Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Thursday? Uh, we're heading. <laughs> yeah, we're heading to the property because we have a potential couple day storm that could bring us from right now they're saying anywhere from two to eight inches so it uh, looks like it's gonna start in the morning and continue on through some of the weekend but we uh, we've been getting a ton of ice over at the property I messaged a couple buddies this morning to uh, I've never ran sand through our salt spreader uh, I just I'm not sure I looked online there's like conflicting uh, you know stories there if you can run sand through it what I was gonna actually do is scrape off the driveway, the parking lot area as best as we can, and then potentially put down sand just to help us because it's getting, like I said, we probably got right now about two inches of ice on that entire lot. But anyways, we got some other maintenances we gotta do there in preparation for this storm. So, uh, you ready to get to it, TQ? I'm ready, I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> Get up in here and get her started. Go from there. 
So this is about where our pile originated. If you guys are wondering how's the salt bunker doing, really, really good. Really good. Got a little bit of ice here just from coming off the, the drive, blowing in a little bit, but hey, that's manageable. This is from the skid loader starting up and melting off. So she's just trying to reach back close to the wall and drag it back towards her. This helps as well with busting any of the bigger chunks up that come out of the salt mine. If you guys don't know, this comes out of the salt mine probably about an hour north of us up in Cleveland. This stuff here, once you uh, bust it around a little bit, it'll basically turn to powder like the rest of it with the rock. some of this off the wall for her. and sand on the beach, that's exactly what it's like.
right guys, so I got everything moved from one side to the other because there is a potential that we will get a delivery for new salt tomorrow. So we wanted to be prepared either way. So we got that done. All right guys, so we got it brought down to a little bit of a rock layer. We got a large portion of ice like we stated, but now we have some rock exposed. At least it gives us a decent footing. I uh, really didn't want to plow it going forward. So I just back drug most of it to uh, try to break it up a little bit big tip here for you guys and gals if you are going to plow rock gravel anything like that that's not a hard surface like concrete or blacktop you're going to probably want to run your shoes on your plow that'll help you out a little bit give you a little bit of a gap there if not you're going to need to feather your plow okay so normally we go into down force or down pressure all the way you're going to need to bump it back up a notch so you kind of skim across the top and if you are happen to be grabbing gravel if it is soft and loose uh, just don't push it all the way to the grass area keep it in the gravel area so in the fall or in the summertime springtime whatever you can come back in and spread it back out and uh, save yourself some time there from the headache of getting it out of the grass trust me we know all about that <laughs> anyways the snowstorm is here it's finally starting to snow we're not anticipating anything for at least three or four hours to where we have to go out and take care of anything because we do have uh, a decent little salt layer still down as of right now. So uh, we're going to head back to the house and get warm and uh, probably get ready to go pick the kids up shortly. Yep, pretty soon here. Both the kids had sports tonight. Miley is uh, travel ball, I believe, tonight. High school just started up as well. Uh, so... She is cleared to do 50% workouts with her injury. Sean Boy has soccer. He's doing a 3v3 he got selected to play on. Uh, kind of like an extra. His regular season soccer is over. They did really, they did really well. Made a lot of pro progress. Uh, Miley's 50% right now with her injury. Uh, kind of unique. We both got injured at the same time. I know a bunch of you have been emailing asking how that's going. I have my good days and bad days. Uh, Lately, had more good than bad, but a couple days ago, had a really bad one. Anyways, I got to get moving here, but we're heading in the right direction. All right, got my driveway cleared. Let's uh, go see what these lots look like. All right, pulling up here real quick to do an estimate at this church. Gentleman called and he said, uh, he actually spoke with Ramir and uh, Ramir was supposed to contact me for him and Ramir did not. Anyways, he called me, got my number offline, gave me a holler and uh, asked me to swing by and give his church an estimate. So that's what I'm going to do here real quick. I was very familiar with this place because longtime subscribers will know as soon as I show you where we're kind of at here. So this is the church. But if you guys remember, we used to mow this big old field here and then that union hall over there. Uh, we lost them two years ago, I want to say. They actually they went out of business, bankrupt, something like that. They they closed it up. The big factory's way off in the distance there. It's all shut down now. So they no longer needed that. So therefore, yeah, I don't know what happened with that, but I know it's empty now and we don't mow it. So anyways, we're here at this lot, and uh, this is what the church needs to get taken care of. Basically, this area here and this area here. So pretty simple straightforward i did want to come look at it though just to so i knew what i was looking at 
and uh yeah anyways pretty pretty darn simple here i will drive around the side real quick i think there was a piece out front It looked like somebody pushed some snow back there from the last event. I'm not sure though what the dealio is. It does got a lot of ice and snow still on it. I don't know if maybe they didn't salt or potentially, I guess hypothetically, maybe they plowed and didn't salt and said they did. But anyways, they're asking for us to give them a price to do it. So just a little area up here. He said they would take care of the walkways themselves. So it looks like just one plow strip along the front here. That definitely wasn't done. And then... I'm not sure. No, that's got to be that house's. Okay. So real quick, just uh, pulled over here. Took a look. Oh, I'm loaded up with salt. I went to our big commercial. It was snowing pretty good at our place. And I went out there. Things are wet. Uh, but does not need salted so I decided not to salt. We're gonna be back right now. It's 632 You guys will probably see this video in about uh, I'd say an hour and a half or so depending on how long it takes to upload So yeah, this is gonna be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice short one I'm gonna head back to the house uh, Get rested up and be ready to rock and roll in the morning. Take care guys as always keep plowing keep salting Keep making money boys. We will talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye-bye